Hello everybody, Talmar Anderson, the boss muse here. And today we're talking about holidays. More is better. No, you do not have to give your people holidays off. And that's okay, right? There's certain businesses and industries where it's really hard to have completely the team off. But unless your market really demands that you're open on the holiday or even right the days adjacent to the holiday, I want you to consider taking that time off. Those extra days where you're short staffed, or not short staffed, but maybe you're staffed as low as you can be, that's when it seems like chaos comes down, right? You have an IT solution and you can't get a hold of somebody because it's the holidays. Or you have some a big, someone has a flat tire on the way to open the office and there's no one to cover for them. The holidays can make us stretch thin, but I think it's because we're trying too hard to stay open. So think about how your team would feel if you said, hey, the day before and the day after, we're not going to be there. Heck, some people take a whole week off around holidays and they let their business and their team just take a breath and it brings them back refreshed instead of frazzled trying to fit in all of their fun and hurry to get back to work. If you can build it into your model, I tell you, it's a one that will help with tenure and loyalty. People like looking forward to extra time off. And if it's something that you can do and your market will allow you to do, they're not going to get upset that you're not available. I want to recommend you think about it, boss, because it's a great perk of being a small business owner. All right, boss on.